or what is the Holy Spirit? If you've ever asked this question, you're not alone. It's a topic that's left many intrigued and seeking understanding for centuries. The Holy Spirit, as described in the Bible, is as much God as the Father and the Son are. When we look to Matthew 28, 19, we see the command to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The original language in the name of is singular in grammar and context, providing a profound argument for the Godhead, three in one. E but the Holy Spirit is not just an entity, it is a personal being. The Bible refers to the Holy Spirit as He, not It. While the word for spirit or pneuma is neuter, referring to a non-gender wind or breath, the use of He suggests that the Holy Spirit is a person rather than an impersonal thing. The Holy Spirit is depicted as the breath of God, symbolizing His presence and power. It is mentioned over 90 times in the Old Testament and approximately 260 times in the New Testament. A person with attributes such as grieving, being sinned against, being lied to, disobeyed and honored can only be described as God. The Holy Spirit is involved in creation, empowers God's people, guides, comforts, convicts, teaches, restrains sin, commands and indwells. The personality of the Holy Spirit is further demonstrated by his life, will, omniscience, eternity, omnipresence and the role he plays in sealing salvation. In Acts 5, 3, 4, Peter refers to the Holy Spirit as God. Paul does likewise in 2 Corinthians 3, 17, 18. The Holy Spirit always points to the Son, as seen in 2 Peter 1, 21 and John 5, 39, 40. In Matthew 12, 31, 32, Jesus warns against blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. This further emphasizes the divine personality and deity of the Holy Spirit. In conclusion, the Holy Spirit is God, a personal being with divine attributes, and a crucial part of the Godhead. Understanding the Holy Spirit is key to understanding the nature of God Himself. As we continue to explore theology, may we always seek to understand more about the divine mysteries that surround us.